Hey guys, what's going on? My name is 4G and today I'm going to be talking about why I think that golf carts and the new rifts that they've added into Fortnite are a giant change and a good change for Fortnite and the gameplay. So basically, I think that this is a huge help for places on the outsides of the map, kind of like Snobby Shores, uh, now Paradise Palms, uh, which is where Moisty Meyer used to be, obviously, um, and other places like that. I can't exactly think of it. Like, I would think of maybe Flush Factory, but I'm not sure if that has a golf cart uh, spawn because I have not been there since Season 5 started. Um, but that and the rifts. So there's rift spawns all around these giant uh, rocks with faces on them, um, which are really cool. And um, Greasy Grove, the Greasy Grove uh, Dur Burger, which is actually Pleasant Park now, which I really like because I draw Pleasant Park a lot. So going to, you know, leaving Pleasant after I looted up, trying to get to the circle, it's not as much of a hassle anymore after the cross loot lake. So it is a very big uh, gameplay balance having these rifts, which I honestly don't think the rifts are going to be permanent, just like Hop Rocks weren't. They're probably just going to be here for Season 5, uh, which is kind of unfortunate, if that's true, uh, because of the fact that the rifts are very helpful. But the golf carts, they better never remove that, because that is a huge huge impact on the game a great impact though uh it really does balance the game because for an example i could go to snobby shores now i could loot up and even if the storm or the circle sorry uh is far away i could still get out of there with a golf cart with uh you know my squad and get out of there and actually make it to the circle in time uh so it allows you to go to other places on the map without having to worry about the circle as much but yet the game is still being progressively sped up because you're still going to the circle. So it doesn't slow down the gameplay at all. Um, and also, it's not like when you're in these cars, you're a much harder target to hit. You're really not. I mean, you can, it's very open. You can get shot, especially if you're on the back. So it's really not anything that changes up the way that the gameplay feels in the sense of uh, shooting mechanics and everything. Uh, I just really think that it speeds up the gameplay in a good way. Uh, I'm curious on how Blitz will work with this once they bring back Blitz, or if they ever bring back Blitz. I hope they do, because that's honestly one of my favorite LTMs, other than Playground mode, but that's going to be a permanent mode soon, hopefully, uh, because I can't make any more time-lapse videos uh, that I have made uh, of time-lapse buildings. can't make that without Playground mode, so that series is going to be on hold until they bring it back, just so you guys know. Anyways, um... But yeah, guys, this is just a short commentary on why I really do like golf carts and why I think that they are a great addition to Fortnite. And uh, crazy thing is, I when this game first released, and um, I was like, I really enjoyed battle royale games such as H1Z1 in the past and PUBG, uh, but I wasn't ever good at them at all. So I always thought, and I always thought that because vehicles are such an issue because you have to remember where they spawn and everything like in h1z1 for an example you got to remember where they spawn i'm not exactly sure about pubg if that's random or not because i don't play pubg as much as i played h1z1 in the past um but i know for an example in h1z1 the cop cars and everything they had you have to remember where they spawn and everything and i guess it's kind of like that in fortnite so maybe i was just bad at battle royale games but i completely changed my mind about how uh vehicles work as long as they're not too fast uh which in this case the golf carts aren't and they have a skill uh place in it with uh you can increase your speed based off of drifting uh which is really cool uh so i really like that and uh yeah i completely changed my mind about vehicles in fortnite also i predicted that fortnite was going to add vehicles a few months ago if you go back on my channel I found a setting in the settings. It's not really that great of a prediction, but yeah, it's just saying that I did uh, make a video on that. So uh, I, I thought it was just going to be the shopping carts once the shopping carts were added. I didn't think it would be anything more than that, but you know, <laughs> Epic Games is always surprising us. And uh, in this case, it's a very good surprise. So uh, thank you guys for so much for watching. And thank you, Epic Games, for adding such a great thing into Fortnite. And, uh, continuing to make your game great so uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this commentary 
click that like button down below as it really does help me out a ton and uh, subscribe for more awesome videos uh, not every day as you can tell I took a two-day break but um, m a good majority of the time I'm gonna start making a schedule I think very soon uh, so that I can uh, get on track and everything so you guys thank you guys so much for watching see you guys later